Hello everyone, welcome to Train, where we make AI simple for you. My name is Kieran, and today we're doing a deep dive into the highlights from the latest Microsoft Build event, focusing specifically on Copilot advancements. It's a packed event with major new tools for developers and enterprises. So let's unpack what was announced and how it all works. First up, Microsoft 365 Copilot tuning launched in public preview. This low code wizard in Copilot Studio empowers organizations to fine tune Copilot AI using their own company's data, workflows, and tone without needing a team of data scientists or months of development. Imagine a law firm using its own documents to train a Copilot that drafts briefings in the firm's unique style, or a consulting firm tailoring and aging that understands specific industry nuances. But Microsoft didn't stop there. They introduced multi-agent orchestration, enabling teams of AI agents to talk to each other, delegate responsibilities, and complete complex, multi-step workflows. Think of it like having specialized assistants. One fetches sales numbers, another drafts proposals, and a third books follow-up meetings. These agents can scale to enterprise needs, connecting across Azure AI, Microsoft 365, Fabric, and even third-party systems via the new A2A protocol. Next, Copilot Studio debuted the computer use feature, which allows agents to navigate websites and desktop apps, click buttons, entering data, filling forms just like a human would. This opens entirely new possibilities for automation, from invoice processing to report generation, especially for interfaces without native APIs. Microsoft also emphasized support for bring your own model through deep Azure AI Foundry integration. Businesses can select from over 1,900 custom models, including open source options, and assign them as primary response engines in Copilot flows. This means Copilot can speak your enterprise's language, literally and idiomatically. Under the hood, Microsoft rolled out enhanced security and governance tools. Every agent now automatically gets an identity in Microsoft Entra, and purview integration prevents data leaks, all managed within your existing compliance framework. For developers, Microsoft shipped the Microsoft 365 Agents Toolkit and SDK, enabling low-code and pro-code builder experiences. You can build agents in Copilot Studio, Visual Studio, GitHub, and publish them to Teams, SharePoint, and WhatsApp. There's also a new agent store, a marketplace inside Microsoft 365 Copilot Chat, where you can discover, install, and monetize specialized agents built by partners or custom made by your company. Other key updates, Copilot Pages, which let you turn AI output into editable shareable documents, and Copilot Notebooks, developer-friendly environments for reasoning workflows. Plus, improved Copilot chat integration, deeper connector investment, graph Copilot connectors, and a unified agentic web approach supported by the new MCP standard and NL web protocol. In short, Microsoft Build 2025 turned Copilot into a full-fledged platform. You can customize its intelligence, orchestrate networks of agents, automate GUI workflows, secure enterprise use, and distribute logic across everything from Teams to WhatsApp. So what does this mean for you? If you're an enterprise IT, Copilot now offers powerful automation, tailored intelligence, and centralized control. Developers can choose between low-code and pro-code paths to build sophisticated AI assistants, and organizations can monetize and share intelligent tools both internally and externally. Let me know in the comments which Copilot feature excites you the most. Multi-agent workflows, automation via GUI, or building with your own data. As always, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and see you next time.